Are you looking to build a budget gaming PC that can also do streaming and video editing? Well, getting the right components to fit your budget can be tough, especially when it comes to picking the right GPU for the job, as they can be more expensive than any other components in your PC. But thankfully, this bad boy could potentially help you save money on a budget gaming PC. The ASRock Intel R A380 Challenger ITX is an entry GPU that costs under 700 ringgit. It is small and fits into any small PC case. But most importantly, I find out to offer surprisingly good gaming and video editing performance for the money you're paying. So here's all you need to know about it. For under 700 ringgit, there aren't a lot of choices when it comes to picking out a modern GPU from Team Green and Team Red. And even if you do trust those older GPUs, the Intel R A380 has a few things to get you excited over its competitors. First of all, it features a single fan design that runs really soft when it is on load, and I love the brush finishing on the shroud. It has four display outputs which consists of one HDMI 2.0 port and three DisplayPort 2.0 ports and it only requires one single 8-pin power connector to power it up. This GPU comes with 6GB of GDDR6 VRAM and uses 8 lanes of the PCI Express 4.0 interface. The latter might sound underwhelming, but it has the same bandwidth as a PCIe 3.0 x16 interface. In contrast, most of the RA380's competition only comes with 4 gigs of VRAM, which can be really limited in today's applications and games. More importantly, the Intel R A380 has some technologies that can't be found on its competitors, such as supporting DirectX 12 Ultimate, Intel XE Super Sampling, and AV1 Video Codec. The latter is particularly crucial if you're mostly doing video-related workflows, as it can help take the load off your CPU, and videos encoded with AV1 can have better quality in lower bit rates and smaller file sizes. Now let's talk about real-world performance and benchmarks. We paired the Intel R8380 to our ITX test system with an Intel Core i5-12500K processor and 32 gigs of DDR4 3200MHz RAM. It handled our 6-minute 8-bit 4K video project on DaVinci Resolve Studio really good with no stars at all. And exporting our project with 80 megabits per second of constant bitrate takes 4 minutes and 2 seconds, which is pretty impressive for an entry-level GPU. When it comes to gaming, this is where the Intel Arc A380 will surprise you. So we tested 4 AAA game titles on our system, which the Intel Arc A380 managed to offer decent and playable frame rates at 1080p with medium graphics setting. It scored an average 77 FPS on Shadow of the Tomb Raider, 51 FPS on Cyberpunk 2077, 60 FPS on Hogwarts Legacy, and 35 FPS on the Plague Tale Requiem, which is pretty impressive for an entry-level GPU. In terms of thermals, the Intel Arc A380 has a decent load temperature of just 80 degrees Celsius, while idle temperature is around the range of 56 to 58 degrees Celsius. So this is how well the Intel Arc A380 can serve you in a budget PC build. It is a great all-round entry-level GPU that's capable of handling 1080p gaming with low to medium graphics setting very well. And I am particularly impressed with the video encoding performance. This is a GPU that you shouldn't dismiss easily. The ASRock Intel R A380 Challenger ITX retails for 698 ringgit in Malaysia. And if you are interested in getting one for your build, head to the link below to get one. So, what do you guys think about Intel's first discrete GPU? Are you using one and would you like to see more comparisons and videos on PC hardware? Let me know about it in the comments and I'll be sure to return with more content like this. So that's all for today's video and thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.